everyone. I'm Ishwa Rora and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yes, you're seeing it correct. BSc Honors in Statistics. Who says that only science students can pursue BSc Honors in Statistics? No, it's not the criteria anymore since we have CUET in our curriculum now. Now, this BSc Honors in Statistics can be taken by any students who just have maths in their curriculum. So the only condition that they have is that you should have maths with you. You are No matter you are from humanities background, no matter you are from commerce background, obviously science students can take but even if you are from the humanities or the commerce background, this course is open for you. In this video we are going to discuss the eligibility criteria that you need to fulfill in order to pursue this great course from University of Delhi. Also, we'll be discussing top five colleges that offers this prestigious course. So let's get started. Now, the eligibility criteria says that you need to have any one language from list A. This combination you need to fill in your CUET examination in order to be eligible for B BSc Honours in Statistics. Now, you need to have any one language from list A. I'll be showing you list A and list B in a couple of seconds. Next, you should have mathematics. Mathematics is compulsory. Next, any two subjects out of which one should be from list B1. Now let us see what does list A and list B has in store. So list A has a number of languages. Suppose for instance in class 12 standard you are from humanities background and you have subjects like English, history, geography, pole science and maths. These are all your subjects. So you just have one language in your 12th grade. So my dear you have no other choice but to choose English from this list. So the condition they have put down for you is that if you are sub choosing subjects either from list A or from list B, you should choose only and only those subjects that you had in your 12th grade. That is very important. Suppose you had two languages, say English and Hindi in your 12th grade. Then you have a choice. You can choose either English or Hindi. But herein you need to choose any one language provided that you have that language with you in your 12th grade. Now, moving on to list B. List B is basically divided into two parts. We have B1 and B2. What they are saying is that you need to choose any one subject from B1. That is for sure. The other subject you can choose from list B2 or you can choose both the subjects from B1 itself. So one has to be compulsorily from B1, the other can be either from B2 or both can be from B1, they are okay with it. Now B1 incorporates all the core subjects that you might have in your 12th grade and B2 incorporates subjects like physical education, entrepreneurship. So yes, if you have say physical education in your 12th grade as your 6th subject, so you can choose one subject from B1 apart from maths. Maths is compulsory over here. So apart from maths, you can just choose one subject from B1. Say you are from humanities background and you chose history. So you have history from B1. Maths though is compulsory. You don't have any choice. You have to take it. And you can choose say physical education. But you should have physical education in your 12th grade. So this is the only eligibility criteria to pursue BSc Honours in Statistics from University of Delhi. Now let us see what are the top 5 colleges that offers this great course. So we have Hindu College, we have Lady Sri Ram College for Women, we have Kirori Mal College, we have Ramjas College and we have Sri Venkateshwara College. These all five colleges are amongst the most prestigious colleges of University of Delhi. Hindu College is in the North Campus. Lady Sri Ram is an all girls college and it is in the South Campus. We have Kirori Mal, again a North Campus college. We have Ramjas College and Sri Venkateshwar is again in the South Campus. So they offer a good number of seats. Apart from these five, there are other colleges as well that offers BSc Honours in Statistics. So if you are interested in Mathematics or in Statistics, then this course is for you. So any for any more queries, we are there to solve. Stay tuned to our channel for more updates. Thank you so much.